What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're gonna try something out. Uh, we have been stuck on a very specific uh, game mode here in Hollow. We're on 4-2-1. Uh, not too bad, I don't think anybody else has even cleared anything from my server as far as content goes. This wave is an issue because of the gustins and such, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to load up, like, everything on the um sorry on the second lineup we want eh, all that type of damage trying to kill those gustins as fast as possible uh maybe even doing this i don't think the hyperspace hunter island monk is going to do too much i literally want like our strongest heroes in the second team and i'm hoping what we can do is we can somehow budget beat the top wave because if we can that means most of our power like literally four of our householders are going to be in the second lineup i guess we could really see how it works out if we were to drop that's interesting we could let's see a completely bare bones setup on the first team here like literally is just going to be her and her core I don't know if it can win. If it can win, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, and then we can just unload and try to beat those Gustins as fast as possible. Uh, she did get taunted. That is not good. <laughs> so immediately, I want to restart this. Uh, I want to put her slot one for sure. Slot one is going to be the play, it seems like. Uh, even with the mirror, kind of tanky. She still might CC everybody and get the win. I might go balance strike with her because if she's CCing everybody, she should be able to survive the couple hits she takes. Um, maybe. And she might actually need that. Holy cow. The one problem we might also run into is not enough damage in this setup. Hmm. Because, like, we're doing all right here. We really need to put her slot one, though, so that she can generate even more energy. Either that or we need to run her, like, with an antler's cane. And wait till round two to CC the enemy. We're also going to have to run something besides Fox. Uh, probably the Wolf for stacking damage. Because this might be a battle that goes on a very, very long time. But it does seem like Balance Strike would be the play here. And actually just building her more offensive in general. Because survivability is an issue if the entire team is CC'd. And this is the difference between Jara and Therapist of Blood Betty. Is that she can just get her active off anytime. And then on top of that, her core is way better than Jara's core in my opinion at this point. Like just locking down enemies left, right, and center. You can see how it's working. It's working very, very well. Uh, our issue is just not having enough survivability ability at this point to keep our team going i think i'm gonna keep vulcan in the front row with her again we do need to go to some stacking damage buffer but if we can beat this one super budget that means the gustin wave that has been our biggest gripe can be solved and it can be solved pretty easily Right here, we're going around 14, 15. They're like kind of low on HP, but like is definitely nowhere near enough. With an Antler's Cane and Balance Strike, I think we have a chance. I think we do. <laughs> Especially, you know, even keeping Machman alive um, could be good. So let's jump over here. We're actually going to rebuild you completely offensive, except for your stone. We don't really have anything on your stone that we can do. Uh, we'll do this. We're going to put her in the front row so she doesn't be she isn't CC'd. We're going to go for a crit and precision. Because these heroes might block a lot. Um, and yeah, our tenants are basically... Fodder, so to speak. Um, I want Vulcan, I think, in the front row. And I want to change this to this. That way we have synergies. Every time you move a hero, I hate how you have to reactivate this. It's quite annoying. I think that's good. Let, let's see. Let's see if we can. I feel like we got this on lockdown. It's almost like you just put her in any team and you can probably beat the wave. Now you can see we're not going to get it in the first round until we do our basic attack. And then hopefully we lock everybody down for the next round. I'm hoping. The problem is if she's already at 100. Oh, she. Oh, wow. She even does it in the second round. So when she's already at 100 and then she gets hit, 
she does proc it again even though she was already previously at 100 um this should be the difference maker right here right there so we get to do that just from the basic that is absolutely amazing and almost every round we're going to be getting actives as well which is just really sweet there we go we got energy again we're going to go and cc the entire enemy team and keep our mockman and our doom terminator vulcan alive which is important which is just crazy considering we have absolutely no power on this lineup we just got to hope she doesn't get one shot because that is a very real possibility in this situation we need to try to keep them locked down as much as possible oof so if we did get hit but again we get to throw out all those cc's we get to heal back up we're at round six the health pools are going down on everybody except for those sigmen and sigmen kind of worry me we might actually have to put artifacts on vulcan and mockman as well wow we almost died right there that was really sketchy Sadly, she dies right there, and then we go down. So she might be a little too glass cannon. I don't know, but we definitely need her in order to make this work. I'm thinking maybe we put Antler's Cane on the Vulcan and the Mockman. Let's see what their damage turns out to be at the end of this. In reality, all three of these heroes in the back should be able to do a ton of damage. We could put, you know, like a melodic strings on the Mockman as well to try to get some extra damage out of him. Sadly, we have to watch the super slow death. And like there isn't a ton of damage from this team here, which is why the strategy works usually pretty well. Yeah, Mockman, not even a uh, like a householder, tenant, anything. Let's get Mockman, which should be down below. It's going to mean the heroes get a little weaker. We're going to go with a Melodic Strings on you, and we're going to go with a mm, Antler's Cane. Let's go with an Antler's Cane here. And let's go with an Antler's Cane here. <laughs> let's just turn them into full-on attack behemoths, I guess. We'll Stick with like some stuff like this and go back to like precision building them like he's back in the old school attack modes <laughs> we used to use these heroes so so much uh not anymore though probably has way too much crit damage nowadays but we'll leave it as is and then last one just check mockman cool damage crit yeah that should be fine let's Give it another shot if it works cool uh but that's only problem one in our equation number two is gonna turn into can we actually beat the gustins as well and if i think we can beat these this wave we're gonna make a decent amount of progress this is one more one of the more difficult ones so now next round if we get hit in round one in slot one we have the chance to CC them again so that nobody else gets to attack. That's exactly what we need. I might need to run balance strike on some heroes too to get them healed up. So like that's perfect. If one of them breaks out and they hit the slot one, that's why we put her there so that she gains the extra energy. She then CCs the entire enemy team and maybe this works. We literally have three antlers cane and a melodic string set up at this point. If we can't make this work now, I don't know what to say. We could always go to the Phoenix over the Wolf as well, but I kind of like the Wolf's armor break right now. Sigmund counterattacks aren't really doing much. There we go. CC the entire team again. And this is why she's so broken. It's her passive. It's not even her active skill. It's the passive that procs her active. Because even right there, like, there's just such a high chance that we CC everybody almost every single round. And... We're just gonna have to see if we can actually do enough damage to make this work. That was a scary round because <laughs> a lot of them got to attack. Okay, keep them locked down. I don't, again, I just don't know if we have enough damage with this team, to be honest. We might have to swap another hero back over here in order to do some extra damage. I don't know who it would even be. The Asmodel goes down with an Antler's Cane. We Again, we're still ramping up with our Vulcan, though, because our Vulcan should be able to do a lot of damage here towards the end of this battle. 
which is good, kind of what we're banking on, but she goes down, and that is not good because that is all of our survivability. I don't think these two can finish it out. I would highly doubt they have enough damage to end this battle properly. <sighs> I think we might have to put Scarlet Queen Halora on this team as well for some additional healing, support, and damage. Because as you guys see there, as they die off is just not enough. That or we might have to swap a couple heroes around. Um... Maybe swapping the queen up. Could just try the queen swap. Give it a try. These game modes are so insanely difficult at this point, but <laughs> the new cheese seems to be working out pretty good for us. <laughs> it's pretty solid. We just need her to actually, like, if we had a giant killer copy of her, we would probably be in a good spot. If anybody would love to donate about 25,000 starry gems to content, I would be open for a gift for once. <laughs> this probably, I'm probably not going to be getting any more giant killer copies just because uh, it's just, uh, it's, we've already spent a lot. <laughs> we've spent a lot, so I don't want to spend any more on this. I want to try to just do what we can with what we got at this point. I'm just hoping it works out. Again, if we had a giant killer copy, we would probably have already cleared this wave. It's just we're literally doing this with no... Well, I mean, Star Swordsman, Machman, and Asmodel in the back are giant killer, but they aren't really set up to be strong. They're just purely tenants. Good, good, good. Get that CC off. Get some healing. The other thing is Scarlet Queen Horror is providing us healing with her destiny transition as well. That's a nice little boost. Vulcan is starting to do a decent amount of damage as well. Oh no, both Unimax are not CC'd. Oh no, okay, good. Well, that just guarantees that everybody kind of gets locked back down this round. Although both segments in the front row, really resilient. Uh, we lost one of our damage dealers, that's not great. We need them to basic attack her first round here. There we go, CC everybody. I don't know why those Sigmunds are so resilient to crowd control. Almost got the Shias down, which is a lot of their damage. Um, I'm scared that she might die here. Oof, that was really close. At least she gets an active off and hopefully heals. Good, she got a full heal. Although, the counterattacks literally almost killed her. Holy cow. This is starting to get real sketchy. Down to four heroes, which means, oh no, we lost everybody that round. No. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I was really close though. Maybe we go with the hyperspace on our Isla Mach instead. Look how even all that damage is. Really, you're the, the weak, weak link here. The only other thing I could think is we're also going to have to substitute you in like this. He might provide that extra damage. He will also provide a ton of survivability just with all the shielding. I just really wanted to try not to use both these heroes on this wave. Betty on the other wave I don't think is going to be as like important because we're still going to hit the Gustins and the Gustins are still going to kill us. So we just need to kill them fast, whereas this one... We can slow kill them this way. And we do have hyperspace on our Alamok, who is a giant killer. So he might add a decent amount of damage to this fight on top of everything else. But I can't imagine us struggling if we just had a giant killer. It feels weird having one of our householders not even have an A tier. If anything, maybe we should sell like our Mockman copy. That is something we could do. We could sell our Mockman, try to get 25-ish thousand, and then buy a Betty instead. And then we can just buy a tenant copy of him with very high attack. That kind of sounds like a plan. I kind of like that idea. Hmm. Gosh, don't die. Come on, Betty. Full heal, please. Yes, okay. 
The counterattacks are brutal. That's the worst part. If we don't CC the Sigmund in the front row, this is very, very bad for us. Maybe we should be running a Rui Scepter instead. These counterattacks are literally picking apart our team at this point. I mean, Hyperspace on our Island Mock is moving the HP bars pretty decently, but having the Vulcan go down feels really, really bad. Oh, wow. She got a block. That was absolutely huge. Otherwise, she was just done for. Come on, Hyperspace on our Island Mock. Take out the Shia, and let's start working on the Unimaxes. Uh, I just don't think we have enough damage at this point. I sadly do not think we have enough damage. It's really, really close, but we're just missing what we need here. Yeah, it's just not enough damage. We have the survivability now with this hero, but... um. It's a big old L for us. Uh, if that's not going to work, I don't know if we can do it with any more damage dealers shifting over to here. <sighs> At this point, I don't even know if this bottom team can do it on that wave, but I mean, if we do it this way, we then know what we have to work with on the other wave. See, maybe the Natalia adds the extra oomph that we needed. Granted, she just has a crown. We could go to more offensive artifact on her, too. Let's speed this combat up. Let's go. Go, go, go. I mean, it definitely seems like more damage. <laughs> She's putting her hurt into the Shia. And honestly, at this point, maybe we don't even need the Islamok on this team, and we can swap him back to the other lineup for more survivability. It's going to be how much damage we can put out. Yeah, not seeing those sig see, seeing those Sigmunds means we take a ton of damage every round. If we don't have them CC'd, we're kind of screwed. Because at that point, our heroes are just killing themselves by attacking, which feels so bad. Oh, that Sigmund's staying untouched. Oh, no. This is definitely better damage, though. It's, it's definitely better damage. I don't know if this is going to work. But I just feel like, I think we cleared this one with Lord of Fear Aspen the first time, and then I was like, oh, I kind of need him on the second wave, because the second wave is so difficult as well. Uh, those counterattacks, don't counterattack. Don't do it. I feel like we put way too much into this first lineup, though. Like, way too much into this first lineup. We definitely have the kill now. There's no way we don't kill. I say that, but you never know. It might come out of nowhere. Who's going to get the final shot? Mockman. Okay. So, yeah, Natalia was the key. Honestly, we could have taken quite a few out of that lineup there. Oh, wait. Did I just mess that up by going back? No. Okay, good. Good. I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Uh, queen, I need to go back to here. All right, let's get our tenants back with our flags to make sure they are giving the best statistics possible to our main heroes. Uh, where's the other one? Vulcan? Wow, Vulcan's way down here. Oh, that's because you don't have X levels. That makes sense. Whew, okay, let's go to fight number two. Let's see this. Um, so fight number two, I think we're going to go for queen. And then we're just going to hope these heroes can just absolutely nuke. Uh, I guess putting another Asmodellin would be the stronger option because he does give the all damage reduction shield. 
I have not a clue if this is actually going to work out. I probably need to put Vulcan in the front row. If he doesn't get hit by those Annabelles. I think I might need to go more offensive on the Vulcan. I don't know. All right, it's our turn. Let's see how the damage goes, if at all. Oh, that's like some okay damage. Um, I guess fearing them would be really good in this scenario, though. Okay, Dread Puppet did not hit either of our damage dealers. That's really good. I think this might be possible. We just got to hope both Gustin's linked to either Asmodel or Eos. Oh, one of them hit Vulcan, though. Uh-oh. One of them hit the Vulcan. I don't like that at all. Definitely able to work down the Gustin's, and that's the problem. If we can kill off the Gustin's this round... Oh, that would be amazing, but we're not... Oh, wait. Oh, we got energy, but then we got Dread Puppeted. That's not good. Okay. Okay, yeah. This this might have been better if we had Hyperspace Hunter Islamok on our squad. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Hopefully something good happens. <laughs> We just need to RNG where the Gustin's linked to. Okay, Freya, that's not horrible. Where's the other one linked to? Hopefully Freya again. Oh, our Aspen. That means this is a completely failed attempt. We need the literally the Gustin's to RNG, not hit our two damage dealers for like the longest time of the battle. Right now we're just literally gonna lose Aspen round one. He made it to round two, I guess that's good. <laughs> Not by much, though. Not by much. All right. Since these Gustins are ridiculously overpowered the way that their ability works, we're going to try something. Is it going to work? I have not a clue. Maybe, maybe not. There's going to have to be a lot of RNG involved here as well. We'll give it a couple tries. I don't want to make this too long of a video, but I know a lot of you guys out there have been really enjoying the longer Void Campaign uh, videos as we try to figure out the best way to clear these. It's like Besides the Gustin, there's really no damage incoming. It's just sadly at this point, like we just got to wait for the Gustin pings to ping us down the best thing to do is for gustin's to link to the same target in a round that's like the best option for us and you see they're doing zero damage to us like absolutely nothing um so let's do the no actually burn purify it's actually really good on this team i remember why i had it <laughs> uh we're gonna go to that we are going to then Slap Demon Bells on everybody. Everybody that's in this lineup is getting a Demon Bell, and so long as they survive, they are going to pump more energy into our main heroes. Uh, Freya, yeah, Freya's in this lineup, and Asmodel is in this lineup. Let's give it a couple tries. If we can't get it to work, I will do the rest of this off screen. Oh no, did, was the core not active? Did I just realize the core was not active on these heroes? That's not good. Well, let's see where the first Gustin's linked to. Of course, Doom Terminator Vulcan. Where's the second one linked to? Eos. That one's fine. My guess is Lord of Fear Aspen is the more important one to keep alive at this point. Uh, especially since the other heroes are going to be feeding energy for him to have a round two active as well. It's almost. He needs to get hit once. Oh, I forgot Gustin's reduce energy as well. I totally forgot about that part. And he's not going to get hit, so he's not going to get an active. That sucks. Basic is just going to have him kill people. This could work. It could work. Both of them are linked to the Freya. That's really good. Wait, we lost all of our energy that round, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Gustin's with their energy drain. That is a whole nother ball game. Let's give it one more try. If not, I'm going to let my macro try to beat it and we'll just see if like enough attempts actually clears it because as it stands right now, this is really, really difficult and it's going to require a ton of RNG. Okay, link to Eos, that's fine. I did not see where, the, I don't think the other Gustin got hit technically. Okay, I mean, that's it's not optimal, but it's still good. As long as they can get their actives off. Ooh, one of them lost energy. So, we don't know if Vulcans, oh no, they both are damage dealers got linked up. Unless these are some crazy round two actives, I don't think we got this. The pings might just kill us here. Oh no. Yep, yep. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that ping was going to come in and it was going to utterly destroy us. But there is a chance. You can see that amount of damage. If Aspen was able to attack uh, as well, that would have been absolutely crazy. I think I want Vulcan going first. I think I have a strategy here. I think I got something that's working. If we get Vulcan to go first, we can then use Vulcan's core and give Lord of Fear Aspen more damage. Vulcan will also weaken them, so hopefully Lord of Fear Aspen can kill the target and then spread his fear and his AoE damage out. That's that's going to be my new hope here. Okay. Well, let's just give our one hero a little bit more speed. Usually just going to this node works, right? 2293. Yep, that worked. Sweet. Um, honestly, like, might as well go away and go to, like, more holy damage or something on both these heroes. Because if they proc, they're going to proc. And it doesn't really matter. <laughs> they are going to proc. There's no point in having damage reduction. Uh, he is faster. So we're going to do one other change, like I said. Uh, we're going to go to your core of origin. And let's pray that this works out. It would be nice and optimal if we can somehow get all the demon bells to go off in round one. Honestly, I want both Gustin's linked to the queen. That is optimal. Eos for one of them. The other one is linked to queen. Uh, that might be enough to keep Eos alive to, for her to do an energy feed. We'll have to see. Pretty decent damage. Oh, sweet. Actually, we got full energy feed. That's pretty close to what we wanted there. Oh, the energy drain hit Lord of Fear Aspen, though. He also did get struck with the Dread Puppet, so that's not great. We're getting some CC from uh, the core, which is cool. Don't know if uh, Aspen is actually going to get an attack off because Vulcan might kill him. Yeah. Vulcan, you got one chance here, buddy, and that's about it. You're going to have to wipe out these Gustins. He did, so there's a chance. <laughs> he did, so there is a chance now. And before the Dread Puppets come out, I think we might have done it. Uh, Dread Puppets are going to happen, but again, we have basic attacks that are just as strong. Basics are probably good enough to win, maybe? Yep. Wow, we Vulcan with this. Oh, my. I guess I'll see you guys next time. We got the same wave, but on team one.